Today's video is going to be a continuation of this series that I'm doing right now where I'm building programmatic websites. Today's video is going to be focused on databases. Now, why would you want a database? There are kind of two broad reasons why you'd want to connect a database to a project like this. Um, number one is for form submissions. Um, so yeah, basically if you want to be able to do anything like form submissions or bookings or anything like that, you are going to need a database. The other reason is for authentication. So I'll just say auth because I don't actually know how to say authentication anymore. So auth is super important for things like reviews, for example, logging in, you'd need auth. Um, and also, you know, to leave comments, user interaction, to create accounts. So let's say if you wanted to make a website similar to um, cat in a flat, which is a cat sitting service in Ireland, then you would need authentication, right? You to log in here, you're going to need auth. So in terms of databases, in my opinion, the, the option that everybody chooses is Superbase. Um, the other option for me is Mongo DB. I actually prefer Mongo for, um, you know, the first one form submissions bookings. The reason I prefer it is because it's way more developer friendly. So for today, we're probably going to use MongoDB, although I do kind of want to get in the habit of using Superbase. So I'm not sure which path I'm going to go down, but we're only going to be looking at form submissions and bookings today. We're not going to be looking at uh, authent uh, auth. I just, I can't handle auth right now. So Superbase, very interesting product. Uh, I like it a lot. I do recommend getting a paid one because otherwise you keep getting your projects paused and it can be very, very annoying. This may seem complicated, but it's not. The way databases work is they have an, you have an organization level, which is this screen here. This is like the organization level, right? And then inside the organization level, you have projects. And then each project is connected to one application normally, right? So you can have two free pro uh, projects on a free account. Um, so you hit new projects and then um, choose a place that you want to put it. I'm just going to restore this one. Uh, this one's being restored now. But basically, after uh, you set it up, you'll see this screen here. So there are two kind of bits that you need to understand here. There's the table editor, right? And there's the SQL editor. Most of the kind of coding is going to be using this part here, the SQL editor, but you don't actually really need to code this. You just need to know where to put it. So, um, Claude or whatever you're using to code will give you the SQL code. All you have to do is bring it here to the SQL editor. Okay. And then we need our environment variables. And then we're going to just kind of hope that um, Claude has the knowledge to do this. Okay, so on this screen here, we actually have client libraries here. And I'm just press docs. And I'm going to build a prompt here. So I'm going to say add, add um, super base to the project with the following button variables. So we'll paste those from before. Then we'll get the uh, the JavaScript client library here. I don't think we need too much information. I probably do. So we'll say here's the documentation. The idea behind this is that we can add this to our prompts whenever we want. and create a, a, and use it to power forms. The forms input should be sent to Superbase on um, submission. Prompts or forms. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test this out. I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code. I'm showing you guys the process of how I create these things, just so you know. That's kind of the point of this video. So we've got the Rolls Royce website from the other day. We'll open Klein here. Um, and 
we'll we'll put plan here. I'm not sure how this is going to go down because obviously this isn't the same instance of conversation that was happening before. But I'm going to say you're inside my Next.js project. Read and plan. And I'm just going to give it this prompt. We should see that it understands everything. So yeah, it's reading the forms. So checking if Superbase, that's cool. I like that. Okay, there we go. So this is what you need to put inside um, Superbase, but I'm not sure if it'll do it for me or not. So I'll just I'll just wait and see. I won't I won't do anything. So let's just press Act here, and then what this should do is it should just be able to input that. So install, good. So far, so good. This might even be able to do the commands from here, which would be pretty cool. If Klein can do this with no problems, I'm really starting to get impressed by Klein, honestly. It's so good. It's so much better than Cursor, for example. So this is editing code, right? The, 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 I could open any folder here. I could open any project here and edit the code. So it's very, very interesting to me. So now it's creating the superbase.ts file. Pretty simple. So now it's just adding the types to the types.ts file. Perfect. This looks like it's just going to absolutely smash this. Um, so you can see how simple this is. Like people probably, like all, all I know, all I needed to know was that you can accept form submissions. Um, that you could accept form submissions onto a database, right? And then all I did was I took a database and I took the, the documentation and I gave it to Klein, right? There's no, there's nothing special going on here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a universal prompt spreadsheet. Um, oh, is that really done already? So let's see, this is, uh, not the right project. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm inside the wrong project here. This is, uh, let me just do this again. I'll be back. Again, just so you know, if you follow on from the video yesterday that I did, right, I'm calling this no code because yeah, I'm, I'm not coding here. If you, if you watch this video and then uh, the video that you're watching now in order, then you're going to have a really good understanding of how to do these things. And I'm not coding, okay? You could argue that I'm programming because, you know, programming could be putting things together like the database knowing that I can take a form uh, a submission and put it in a database. You could argue that was programming, but it's not coding. I'm not coding anything. Okay, so that's, that says that it's done. Um, it doesn't seem to have given me the SQL. Oh, there we go. Never mind. So now we need to go to Superbase, which is here. Go to SQL Editor, like I said before, paste this, and then run. Should say success, no rows return, perfect. And then npm run dev. This has taken me like literally less than five minutes. Uh, uh, the only thing is, I don't know if it's got everything it needed in terms of. Uh, let's just find out. Okay. Right, so did that work? Now we go back to um, Superbase and we see if there has been a contact submission. There you go, done. See how, f see how fucking easy this shit is, guys. That was a nine minute video and I fucked it up once and it's still done. Absolutely amazing, guys. This is the way forward, I'm telling you. The, the whole thing with Bolt and Lovable, they're amazing, it's great, but like being able to fully control everything you're doing is amazing. Okay, so my next plan, guys, just say no if you want to know what the continuation of this uh, series is going to be. I'm going to do auth. So this is forms, auth, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this entire spreadsheet, right, completely free, of course. Um, and it's going to have, like, blog, service, directory, 
Each one of these will have a prompt, and then you can add these prompts if you want to add something additional, right? Um, I'll think of some more things like ads, monetization, affiliate, I'll try and work out, but like, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. So now if we go to request a quote on here, there we go, beautiful, that's so cool. In like less than 10 minutes, we've actually just made this a functioning website that could now start to receive inquiries. Now, my old boss wants a booking system. So I'm going to have to work that out as well. I think it's perfectly possible with Superbase. I wouldn't be surprised if I could just go to client now and say, make me an entire booking system using Superbase and a uh, calendar JavaScript library. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually works, to be honest with you. I'm actually probably just going to do this quickly, just to see if this, <laughs> just to see if this shit works. Okay, <clears throat> this wasn't supposed to be part of this video, but I'm just, I'm just curious just how good this, how, how good this actually was and how, how little you actually need to know about coding. Wait, does this actually work? <laughs> that region is wrong, but that's fine. Whatever, doesn't matter. An error is occur, please try again later. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's fully working, but it's pretty much there. Anyway, it's super interesting, guys. You can see just like how little you need to actually do and think about these things to make something that can effectively replace your WordPress websites. Now, one thing I do want to mention is page speed as well. Um, I think there's some maybe misunderstanding about page speed as far as i understand it i might be wrong though this should be lightning quick like lightning 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 quick like so quick that it's ridiculous it's actually not uh, so it says chrome extensions affected it but you can see um i mean it's still pretty quick let's be honest it's, it's still pretty quick all of this is good tbt what is tbt total blocking time so yeah, you'd have to maybe look into blocking and removing that. But overall, these websites are very, very quick. It takes, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes to set it up. You can pretty much code anything that you've got the imagination for. Um, and like I showed you in this video, adding like a contact form is really, really simple too. That's my entire process, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.